Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 62 of the broadcast. And Watching Chickies is the daily live stream here on Reddit and then later on YouTube in which we watch the lives and the development of these three young chickens. And before you in black, we have our little Ayam Samani, Braveheart. And hello there, Braveheart. Hello. Uh, behind Braveheart, in gray, we have our little Silky, named Stormy. Hello there, Stormy. And right here, in brown and gold, we have our lovely Konegadori, named Hirone. And I just kind of kicked at the water. Oh dear. Well, fortunately, I have lots of towels and blankets in here. And that was Dad just being a little bit clumsy. Oh dear, oh dear. But we are back, and this week our pen is celebrating it, its uh, one year anniversary, which is quite lovely. So all of the broadcasts are brought up to uh, about two hours. Oh my. Oh, and Tenor Radio, thank you for the Gold Award. That is much appreciated. Thank you very much. And all the chickens are doing well today. They're all just kind of in a little cuddle pile up here at the top. They do like perching up high when possible. And our little Braveheart is just kind of flooping around. Our little funny little hen. And let me make sure that this water gets mopped up. Oh dear. Hello there, Kagome. How are you doing this morning? All three of you together. I love seeing our little flock just come together like this, even if it's just to be pecking at the blanket. And right after today's broadcast, they will all be going to their outdoor coop to have a little bit of fun in the sun. Uh, yesterday, there was a bit of rain. So, you know, we needed to bring them in a bit early because not only was there rain, there was a lot of thunder, which our little birds are not a big fan of, especially, you know, um, when they are in the coop and more exposed to the elements. Oh, Antenna Radio, well, thank you for the This Award. That is much appreciated as well. And, you know, in this show, um, I'd like to just talk to the people that are uh, watching, answering questions, and just having a nice time watching the chicks have a nice time. It's just a nice, quiet time, relaxing, where we get to see the birds just be themselves. Ooh, you just showed me your belly there. Hello there, Braveheart. Hello. A little b belly rub there. Lovely. And all of our little chicks are doing well today. I have got pretty much all of this water up. I just kind of nudged with my foot a second ago. And they are all looking pretty calm today. Uh, later on, we'll be doing their weigh-in. And I'm going to be giving them some yogurt, because it's been a few days since they have had a yogurt treat. And let's see if I can persuade any of them to maybe just have a bite to eat. Hey guys, look, I got some more starter feed for you. Oh, I just put in a little bit before. There we go. There we go. Let's see if you're hungry or not. Oh, I'm seeing Braveheart move a little bit. But maybe I can just give them a little bit of a cuddle today. You guys tired today? Oh my. Yeah, Kagome? Ooh, that's a lovely look at your gorgeous little brown eyes there. And of 
course, our Braveheart is trying to be the fluffiest bird imaginable. And you know what? If all of you guys are just so calm right now, I might just go ahead and jump to your daily weigh-in today. So let's see about that. Oh my, oh my. Here, here, here. Let's jump to little Stormy. There we go, there we go. I know you're warm, I'll bring you back soon. Peep, peep, peep. Oh, you have such a lovely hairstyle there, Stormy. Such a lovely hairstyle. Oh, you've done this a thousand times now. Well, at least about 60 something. And you appear to be 335 grams today, which is quite nice. You were 330 the day before. So that is a marked increase there, my little Stormy. Oh, and look how upright she is today. Hello there, Stormy, hello. You are standing tall. You know, I should have also been trying to measure your height as well. Hello there, pretty bird. There you go. Let's get you with the others. Why don't you have a little meal? Oh, there you go, there you go. Look, so much food. Why don't you have a little meal? And I'm gonna go see about trying. Oh, Kagome. Oh, I know, I know Kagome. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. There you go. There you go. Dad's got you. Dad's got you. I'm gonna... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Kagome. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, dear. Come here. Come here. I know. I know you don't like the way in. Right onto the computer. Come here. Oh, dear. She is not in the right mood to deal with me today. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Kagome. You want a little bit more to eat? You know, I'm just trying to weigh you for the day. All right, we'll get Kagome and we'll get Braveheart a little bit later. We'll let them eat a little bit and we'll let them just relax. And we see they have all secured the food. Our little Braveheart is going for all of the little bits because Stormy has this nice instinct there to just kind of kick at a source of food and spread all of the bits around. Lovely. Oh, and she is really going for the food today. Hello there, Stormy. And hello there, Braveheart. Did you want to say hi to Dad? Is that why you're coming up to the little fence? Oh my, oh my. Oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, antenna radio. Hello there. And thank you for the Take My Energy Award. It is much appreciated. I am a little curious. Can anyone um, make a comment to me? Uh, today, I'm not really seeing the sort of usual comments that I usually do, though I do appreciate the awards, Tenor Radio. I do miss the little bit of conversation that we usually hold. Oh, a nice little bit of water there, Braveheart. Lovely. Well, all of these guys seem to be nicely keeping. Oh, hello there, February Monster. Lovely to see you. 
for a second, I was worried that our chat was possibly uh, not working, but it does appear to be. Good morning. And all of the chickies are having a nice meal right now. I loaded up their food dish with plenty of starter grits, a, a starter um, crumble, and a little bit of chick grit, which they all appear to be enjoying. And I know that um, we are doing the RPAN uh, one year anniversary for the next few days. So like almost all of these uh, broadcasts, I believe, start off at two hours. Though um, I did notice that after I got a uh, couple of awards, instead of it saying two hours, it now says I have 40 minutes left. Interesting. And a uh, chick grip is um, a um, little probiotic uh, grit that um, helps them to digest food. Oh, hello there, Braveheart. Hello. Is Dad not paying you enough attention? Oh my. You can come here. Yeah? Ooh. What? What are you guys looking for? So many questioning noises from the chickies. Yes, Braveheart? Going in for another little bite? Well, that's all right. Lovely. And um, a little bit later on, I will also be giving them some of their favorite treat, yogurt. And February Monster, yes, um, who says, um, oh, do they otherwise eat small pebbles to help them eat like dinosaurs? And yes. So these little rocks just um, go into their gullet and help them um, just break down the food that they eat. And you know, uh, these ones have a few probiotics added to them. So I just um, mix it in along with their crumble. And that's what those little dark specks are. And yes, Stormy does love yogurt. Oh, lovely Stormy. You're eating up a storm there, even though I have already weighed you for the day. Our little Kagome did not want to uh, be weighed, and she just jumped right off. So I think when I'm going to be weighing um, Kagome and Braveheart, I'm going to actually have to put down the phone and uh, use both hands, because, all, because both of them are a bit too big for Dad these days. They don't want to stay in one place, um, except if it's my shoulder or it's really my knee. They're getting to be big chickens and they don't want to just, you know, stay for their way in. And that's all right. You are all growing up each and every day. Oh, nice little drink of water there, Braveheart. Nice drink of water. So it looks like generally today is going to be a little bit of a smaller broadcast. And those days are always fun as well. It's a nice time to relax. Just kind of reflect on the past 62 days. And see these chickens just kind of enjoy themselves. And you are right, February Monster. They're teens now, and they don't want to follow Dad's instructions. You know what I have, guys? I have a blanket right here. And I think I might just join you guys inside your little play area. And a quickie. Well, right here. We have three different varieties of chickens. In black, we have our Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. Hello there, Braveheart. In brown and gold, we have our Onagadori 
which is an endangered Japanese breed of chicken. And then in gray, we have our little silky named Stormy. And all of them make one happy little flock. And they have been with my family for 62 days now. And right now we're here in their play area in the basement. And after today's uh, stream, they will be going out to their outdoor coop to enjoy some fun in the sun. What do you say about that, Braveheart? Yeah? Cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh my. Oh my. You're basically clunking right now. And, um, Anima 63. Yeah, I've played a few, uh, Blizzard games back in the day. Um, I very, very briefly played World of Warcraft. Um, I never really got into it. I got a little bit bored. I don't think I really got past level 10 for that game. Um, I tried Overwatch, and I didn't really get a feel for that game either. But, you know, I know they make quite a few nice games. Ooh, almost a little bit of a waltz going on up there. And uh, Michael Green 25 hello there, hello. And hello there, Stormy. And hello there, Irate. Oh dear, a little bit of drama there between Braveheart and Stormy. Stormy jumped back at Braveheart after that. What was that about? You guys should get along. Especially if Stormy might end up being a rooster. Oh dear, oh dear. And hello there, Kagome. Hello. And yes, Stormy's hairdo is quite impressive. But I do love the uh, different colors of uh, feathers that our Kagome is starting to present. And I do love her gorgeous long tail there, which she is starting to learn how to wag. You wanna give us a tail wag there, Kagome? No? Um, and Quickie. Um, generally speaking, they don't um, attack each other. Um, the closest that they come to that is sometimes they misjudge a jump and they almost jump on each other. And Kagome is one of our athletic birds. Braveheart is our biggest bird, and Stormy, well, she's a pretty fuzzy little bird. And, um, Michael Green, 25, well, Stormy got a little bit, um, aggressive there. She did a little bit of a jump back because Braveheart almost landed on her when, uh, she jumped from this level. So I think it was just, you know, one of those cases of, hey, stop it, don't do that. And you know, um, our little Stormy has been behaving a couple, and in a couple different ways, a little bit like a little rooster. So I'm almost, I'm curious whether or not Stormy might end up becoming a rooster, despite what the uh, vet said. You know, there's still about a 20% chance that she could be. Because especially as we see here, Stormy likes to stand very much upright. And you see how she's holding her head like that? That's, that seems to me very rooster-like behavior. Whereas our um, Braveheart here keeps her body almost level. And roosters tend to walk a bit more upright and with this little strut. So I'm wondering, are you starting to show your stuff there, Stormy? And yes, Irate, um, when we took them to the vet, uh, the vet was said she was about 80% sure that all of these chickens were hens. Uh, she said she couldn't be 100% sure without doing a blood test. Um, she said otherwise we would know for sure by the time they are six months old. So now it's basically a waiting game. They're about uh, two months old now. So, um, in four months, we should know for sure, as they get to lay it, um, egg-laying age. Oh, and bless you there, Stormy, bless you. A little chicken sneeze. 
and a little tap, 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 tap from our brave heart, who's just cleaning up all of these bits of food that Stormy was kicking out. There we go. Lovely. Oh, and there you go, Kagome. You are a sleepy little chicken now, aren't you? Oh, I see you up there, nice and comfy, while the others just have a little bit of a snack. Then we can see how Braveheart just kind of forages right there. And they like to just kind of crush all of their food into like a little dust, if possible, and then take just little bites. Oh, what's that, Kagome? Did I wake you? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, you know what? You didn't allow me to weigh you before. Let's see if I can weigh you now. So guys, I am going to put the camera down for just a second. And I'm going to pick up our little Kagome with two hands. There we go. No, Kagome. It's okay. It's okay, Kagome. We are just fitting your wings. Yeah. Lovely, Kagome. Yeah. You're a lovely bird. And 427. That is a lovely... That is a lovely weight. There you go. And Kagome now is, um, has been weighed in at 427. And uh, she and Braveheart are a little bit too big for me just to do it with one hand and just um, keep streaming. So I think, you know, I'm generally just gonna have to put down the camera when I do their weigh-ins, because our little Stormy is still small enough that I can just do that, but for them, well, they don't want to stay in one place. So 427, that's a good increase there. After Dad misweighed you um, a couple of days ago. Oh yes, Feb oh yes, February monster. Our little Kagome does put up a bit of a fuss sometimes when she's picked up, but you know, she is all right now, as she is just kind of pecking around on her favorite blanket. Oh, February monster, that might be a good idea, putting a little bit of yogurt on, you know, putting a little bit of yogurt on the scale, though. At this point, both Kagome and Braveheart are a bit big, so I think they might try to stand, like, off the scale to eat the yogurt, or, yeah, Getting a, a big Tupperware, a Tupperware, and putting them in it. So um, I'd have to get a, a pretty big Tupperware at this point because our birds have gotten quite a size. Um, I am gonna go and try to pick up a Braveheart now. Let's see if I can put the camera down like this. Ooh, it's almost like a spy camera. Oh my! All right. Coming here for your wedding. Uh, it's okay. Ooh, you're clucking. You're a clucking bird. All right. There you go. There you go. That's all right. Just slow down and move your heart. That's going to carefully let you go. And you are. 510 grams! Oh my! Oh my, Braveheart! Oh my! There you go! Lovely, Braveheart! Lovely! 510 grams today! And Braveheart yesterday was 490. So that's a 20 gram increase! Lovely. You all did so well today. Oh, 
Are you trying to intimidate our little Braveheart there, Stormy? Oh, and Azumi. Oh, my. I think our little Stormy might be trying to institute a pecking order now. We haven't really seen this behavior before. But um, if our Stormy is a, a rooster, um, you know, then she might be trying to um, assert her authority. Oh my. Which is quite an odd thing there, especially when she is the smallest bird of the flock. I mean, I mean, Braveheart alone is 510 grams, and our little Stormy is 335. That is amazing. Well, that might be a bit of a hard job for you, Stormy. But guys, do you know what time is it? Lovely. Oh, and my phone it doesn't weigh that much. Michael Green 25, though it is a nice size. And I'm happy the battery lasts for so long each day. So I can broadcast for hours without it being uh, plugged in. So guys, it's yogurt time. I think they're getting a little bit excited. We see both Kagome and we see Braveheart both coming to the position. Yeah, they see it. Ooh, listen to those clucks. There we go. Um, yes, uh, February monster. When um, hens take on a rooster roll, it, they, it can um, have to do with dominance. Oh, there you go, little Stormy. <gasps> I don't want to drop this on Braveheart's head. There you go. There you go. Stormy loves yogurt. Here. Braveheart, you're right in the middle of everything. Oh dear. There you go, Stormy. There you go. Stormy loves yogurt. Yes, you do. Yum, 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 yum. Here, let me put it right there in the middle. And get you a bit more. There you go. Lovely. And we can see all of the chickens absolutely adore a bit of yogurt here. It is their ultimate favorite treat, and none of them would ever miss a chance in getting some. And it's been a couple of days, they don't get it every day. But you know, they did pretty well for their way in today, even though Kagome was a bit of a baby before. And I'm sure this yogurt is not going to last too long. And as a side benefit, whenever I put it in to their uh, starter feed like this, um, you know, they get a big um, bite of the starter feed, which they've already kind of munched into a, like, fine sand. So they pack a lot of nutrition into each bite. And, uh, Sparks, no worries at all. You know, if you enjoy the broadcast and you enjoy my voice, that is enough for me. I do like uh, making people's days a bit brighter, um, no matter how I do it. So, uh, yeah. Some people call me the Bob Ross of chickens. But I, you know, just like chatting with you all and just watching the chickens go about their day. Especially when they are enjoying themselves so much. Oh my, you guys are already done with most of what I put in there. And you're big chickens now, so I can give you a bit more. There you go. There you go. Oh, Stormy, you are loving that. In fact, all our little chickens are loving all of this yogurt. And they're all sharing, there's no fighting going on, and it is just a lovely time. Oh, and hello there, I'm Sparks in Philadelphia. Oh my, Michael Green 25, I don't have a sponsor, though that would be interesting if that ever happened. I imagine I could probably 
do a sponsor for, uh, you know, starter feed and the crumble. Maybe Mana Pro should get into contact with me because this has gone pretty well for me. Hashtag not sponsored. And, um, I rate, um, you know, I, uh, you know my normal voice, um, it's, it's a bit lower, and I can talk like this, but then, you know, I just go back into the calm voice for the chickens. Oh dear, I rate, I would not do a sponsored ad for, um, Purdue Farms, no. That would definitely be um, outside of what I would like to do. Oh, and wiping off your beak there on the linoleum. Oh dear, oh dear. And um, ZZ Sparks, they don't get spooked uh, too easily. Um, most of the time they handle um, you know, thunderstorms pretty easily. Uh, vacuum cleaners don't appear to worry them too much. Uh, the only thing that really seems to bother them considerably are fireworks, which is odd when they're not all that bothered by thunder. Well, I write, you know, if the voice um, helps the chickies and it helps uh, the viewers, then that's just win-win for, for us, isn't it? Oh, and Kagome, that's a smart girl. That's a clever girl. Wiping off your beak, right there, on your blanket. That's much better than Braveheart, who's trying to wipe off her beak on the linoleum. There you go, wipe your beak off right there on the blanket. That way you get nice and clean there, Braveheart. There you go. Oh, and a little tail wag there from our little Stormy. Lovely. And it's hard to believe now that we have done 62 days of this broadcast. And Michael Green 25, yeah, I do remember when I was just giving them the yogurt right off my fingertips. And now I use the spoon, you know? Um, one, because they're a bit bigger, and two, because, you know, some of the chickens are a little bit less gentle than the others. So I don't want to get my, uh, my fingers pinched while they're in to uh, really feasting on the yogurt. I don't want them to accidentally sample dad's flesh. Oh dear. Oh dear, I have a little yogurt on this finger. Here you go, Braveheart. Oh, Gagome took it. For old time's sake. <gasps> Stormy came right there to get the last little bits off my fingertip. Oh dear. Lovely. Lovely. And yes, Michael Green 25, they do eat a lot of yogurt right now. In fact, I bet they would eat this whole tub if I let them, but that would get these little chickens really sick. So I give them a little bit um, every few days. And they just love it. They can peck at the remnants for hours and hours if I let them. There you go. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, and Kagome. Here, I want to see about giving you a little dad time. Oh, it's okay. I know, Kagome doesn't like to get picked up sometimes, but... Ooh, a chicken sneeze there. She can like little pets from Dad, especially when she's on the shoulder. Oh, and look how long and lovely Kagome's tail has gotten. See all of these dark feathers coming in? You are really growing up there, Kagome. There you go. Yeah. Getting a little bit of singing there. Yeah? 
Oh dear. Yeah? And it's lovely when they just start to talk to you for a bit. And just enjoy the day. Oh my. And I'm just going to sit down for a second. We might get Braveheart joining us. Especially because Kagome is on my shoulder. And, um, Tricky Breadfruit, um, all of our chickens are the, um, same age. Uh, they're all 62 days old now. And all of them were hatched on the same day. Ooh, hello there. And, uh, Tricky Breadfruit, um, Stormy looks different because Stormy is a silky chicken, which is a different breed of chicken. Um, in black, uh, we have our Ayam Samani chicken. And right here, giving us a little bit of a, uh, a speech there. Ooh, is our singing chicken, our Onagadori. There you go, Kagome, there you go. Ooh, yeah? What are you saying? You giving my hair a little bit of a preening? Oh dear. Ooh, you sneezed right into my ear. Bless you, Kagome, bless you. Oh, and Michael Green 25, you know, I just didn't want to show my face before because, you know, I just want to keep most of the focus on the chickens. But when they're on my shoulder more like this, it's a little bit harder to not show my face. Ooh, so much singing today. Oh, you settling down? Yeah? Well, that's some lovely singing there, Kagome. And uh, when these guys grow up a bit more, you know, I don't think they will be too cool to do the streams. But who knows, maybe um, we can watch them from a distance. Oh, oh dear. What is that, Kagome? What is that? What were you trying to tell us? Do you want to go play with the others? Did you want to sing? Yeah? Oh my. Oh, you were trying to warn me you were about to poop. Oh dear. Well, Dad will clean that up in a bit. Thank you for giving me the warning there. And, um... Musician Night Owl. Um, all of our little chickens do have names. Uh, right here on my shoulder, we have our Onagadori chicken named Kagome. Uh, right here in black, we have our Ayam Samani chicken named Braveheart. And um, right there in gray, we have our little Silky named Stormy. And uh, this right here is their play area in the house. Um, in our basement. And um, we have them in here for the broadcasts. Oh, hello there, Braveheart. You want to say hi to Dad? Come here. Come here. There we go. And Braveheart does like to stand on Dad's knee and get a few little pets as well. And then um, over there, in gray, we have our little Silky named Stormy. And all three of these guys um, make one happy little flock that is now um, 62 days old. And we have been streaming on Reddit um, each and every day of their lives. And we have a YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. And there's a link to it in our profile page in which we have uploaded each and every one of these streams. And yes, little Kagome. There are many hours of you up there as well, since you were a tiny, tiny little ball of fluff, right to the uh, teenage chicken that you are now. Lovely. And she's just kind of singing into uh, my ear right now. 
as I give our Braveheart a little bit of a snuggle. And Sparks, I will give um, Stormy a little bit of time as well um, in a couple of minutes. Uh, she seems to be enjoying herself right there in the blanket and taking a little bit of a nap. And you know, Stormy at times can be quite comfortable just being by herself, just a little bit off to the distance. And um, she's having a good time, so I don't want to interrupt that now. But I do like to give each of the chickens some undivided time to get a few pets from Dad. And then after the broadcast, I'm going to be bringing these guys to their outdoor coop for them to have a few hours of fun in the sun. Uh, they didn't get nearly as much time outside yesterday because of um, some pretty heavy rain and thunder that we got yesterday. And you know, I mentioned our YouTube channel in which we um, upload all of these streams. And I would love to thank all of our lovely Patreons that help make these daily streams possible. Uh, Gamers Playing, Memento Mori, Lucidity, Xanthe, Terra Birdie, Kate, and the Foley family. You guys are awesome, and you help all of this content come to everyone on Reddit and YouTube each and every day. And there you go. There you go. And uh, Sparks, yeah, I'm very happy that all of them seem so content. Just chilling out with Dad. Um, all of the chickens imprinted on us. And, you know, they kind of view us like their adoptive parents. Myself and my partner, Lauren. And Kagome really does like her favorite perch, which is Dad's shoulder. There you go, Kagome. There you go. Our lovely Onagadori. And I can't believe they ever let your breed become endangered. Oh, my. And, of course, you are also lovely. Braveheart. Oh, and we got a little squawk there from uh, Kagome, because I think she heard a uh, some um, work going on in one of our neighbor's lawns. I think I could hear a lawnmower in the distance. Oh my, you have such good hearing, Kagome. Oh, and it looks like we have about 10 minutes left for our broadcast today. Man, the time has been going by so quickly. Oh, and I-790. Well, I'm glad that this has helped make your day a little bit better. Oh, and Sam at bay. I'm glad that you are also having a good time. Um, so, um, Charger United, um, we, so, so far, I'm still going to operate under the assumption that Stormy is a hen, but, you know, she has displayed some rooster behavior, so I'm just going to be keeping that in mind and watching her very carefully. In February, Monster, I agree. Um, Braveheart's bird rough has become a bit better. I spot a couple little spots here from preening, but in general, I think she is managing a preening a lot better these days. So that's very good there, Braveheart. You're coming into your own. It's good to learn how to do a bit of self-care self and just keep yourself from falling apart there. We don't want you to get just covered in bird rough. Oh, and I-790, it has been my honor to be the caretaker to these lovely chickens. I want to make sure that all of them are happy little birds and live the best lives possible. Yeah. You know, they're not really working animals um, here. They're not um, meant for the dinner table. They're meant to be a part of our family. And I want them to be happy 
little friends. Oh, there you go. Happy little bird. Happy little bird with dad. And I love your little singing. Yes. Ooh, a tail wag there. And I rate, yes, our little Stormy might be having a little bit of a tomboy phase, trying to fit, um, you know, a role as a rooster where there are none. And hens can display that activity um, when they, you know, when there is no rooster in the flock. So that might be what is going on. Lovely. And we have about five minutes left, so I'm going to give Stormy a little bit of time now. Okay, Kagome, I know you're preening. Kagome, Dad's going to be standing up. All right. Come up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, I know. Oh, Braveheart does not want to move. Come on. Up, 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 up. It's okay. Dad's going to move. I know. I know. And there goes Braveheart. And let's see about picking up our little Stormy. I think Stormy knows what's coming. Here we go, Stormy. Here we go. Look at that sleepy walk. There we go. Oh, and Kagome has somehow managed to stay on my shoulder throughout all of this. I guess Kagome really just wanted to stay with Dad. Oh dear. Flap, flap, flap. And there you go. Hello there, Stormy. Hello. Oh, got a little bit of white there. Let me get that. Let me get that from your hair. You have a lovely head of hair there. Let me see our beautiful little silky there. Stormy. Hello there, lovely. Hello. I'm just a pet from Dad. Oh, and Kagome has just settled in to Dad's shoulder. I thought she'd be jumping off when I went to go collect Stormy, but instead she marched down my back when I was lowering to pick up Stormy, and she just, you know, stayed here. Oh my. There you go. There you go. Oh, we're getting a couple of lonely cheeps from uh, our Braveheart. And she might be coming over to us to get another little pet soon. And um, I, 790. Well, yes, um, you are correct about Kagome's spelling. Oh. Braveheart, you can come here to Dad. You don't need to go into the corner and sulk. Dad's always here for you. You can have some alone time. Oh, Kagome, you're so smug here on my shoulder. And, um, you know, I think there are some silky owners that actually do color their silky's hair. But I'd be a little bit worried about, you know, possibly um, hurting Stormy or irritating her skin. Because I know some dyes can be a little bit irritating to them. Oh dear, and I want these um, little guys to be as comfortable as possible. Oh, an I-790. Well, you know, I was born um, in uh, the Manawi Aoyama. Um, clinic in Tokyo to, and uh, my parents are British. Uh, we lived there till um, I was about preschool age and um, I also went back um, a few times in my life, uh, once in high school for an, an exchange program and um, yeah, it, you know, I, I think Tokyo is a really lovely place. Oh, and here we go with our Braveheart. Hello, Braveheart. Hello. There we go. There we go. 
all of you are here with Dad. I got one bird on my left leg, one bird on my right leg, and then, well, I have the singing Kagome going from shoulder to shoulder, just making sure everything is all right. Oh, and Charger United, thank you for the Keep Calm Award. It is much appreciated. And I'd like to thank all of you guys for tuning in today. If you want to see more of these broadcasts, we um, start every day around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we have a YouTube channel called Watching Chickies. There's a link to it in my profile page, as well as a link to our Instagram and our Patreon. And I'd like to thank once more our lovely Patreons, um, Gamers Plane, Memento Mori, Lucidity, Zenfei, Terra Birdie, Kate, and the Foley family for your continued support in making these broadcast, broadcasts possible. And I-790, it will be great to see you uh, tomorrow and see you all again soon. And I rate, yes, the, uh, the flight to Japan can be um, quite a bit. I think the last time I went there, uh, the total flight time was something like 18 hours. And, uh, you know, it, it can get to be a bit much when you have like a full night's sleep on the plane, and then you wake up and then you still have another 12 hours of flying to go. I always do feel a little bit um, tired, a little bit stressed out coming out of the plane, and I never plan to do anything stressful for about the first day uh, when I arrive. And today has been a lovely day today, just watching all of these little chickens with you all. I look forward to seeing all of you guys real soon. Uh, we will be back tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to check out our other content, feel free at Watching Chickies um, on YouTube. So until then, I hope all of you guys have lovely days, and we will all see you again soon from our little Braveheart, Stormy, and our lovely